How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be ranking the four Stanley Cup MSPs in order of which is the best one to make. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you not already. Let's hop into the video right now. So unfortunately we have to start out with Philip Grubauer, number four, the goaltender. I hate to do it, Philip. I really do. I'm sorry, Philip. But unfortunately, Philip Grubauer has to be the card that I go with here at number four because the other three are absolutely fantastic uh, compared to this card. No offense to Grubauer, but a 6-1 goaltender, I'm not an advocate for that. I'm just not. His synergies are checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, along with defensive boost, agile dangling boost, accelerator boost, and speed boost. All right, so synergies, again, not a main factor on goalies or just not. It, it, it's only just for your, your team. Uh, but he's got silver post to post, butterfly effect x-ray showstopper and gold light work what i will say on grubauer 6-1 I, I hate it but gold light work that gives it somewhat of a potential right 96 overall there's not that many goalies that are this high rated right now in the game outside of fantasy sorrows i, I can't think of any other ones off the top of my head that are 96 overall so that that makes it intriguing uh, he's got 99 glove high and 99 stick high. Also intriguing. Like, again, these aren't bad stats. Like, I mean, it's it's a potential good card. His quickness is speed 99, vision 99, agility 99. It, it's, it's a goalie that if you're that desperate right now looking for a goalie, maybe try him out. But my issue is, though, guys... It's, it costs so many power up collectibles, and, and if you don't like him, you're gonna lose half of your power up collectibles uh, refunding him, which which is the only downside to the whole thing. If you need a goalie that bad, and you feel like, all right, you know what, I'm I'm just going for it, go for it. Grubauer, six one, I fear it, but in this game, honestly, goalies are so random. Maybe at this point, it's not that crazy of an idea to try him out. But Philip Grubauer for me is number four. These top three are all really good. I mean, they are. Uh, number three is Kyle Connor. I really like Kyle Connor. Uh, his size is awesome. 6'2", 179, left-handed winger. Uh, his synergy options are playmaking forward, two-way forward, and sniper forward. And then he's also got checking boost, playmaking boost, agile dingle boost, and shooting boost. What would what, have made this card so, so good is if he had, like, speed boost or something. But, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but speed boost would have made a huge difference, giving him 98 speed. But it's okay. It's still a really good card. It's got a max out shot, 99 across the board, so you don't need to activate sniper forward or shooting boost. Try to activate one other different synergy for sure. Uh, maybe maybe agile dangling boost I'd activate on him, and then maybe two way forward, but not a huge deal. Uh, his speed is nice, his speed in Excel. It's good. It is. His abilities of silver puck on a string, don't love that. Elite edges, do love that. Uh, 1T, whatever. Unsolvable force, that's good. I mean, I like unsolvable force, and I also like goal, make it snappy. So, I would say Connor is a good card. He, he's the only, uh, he's, he's a left-handed winger, same thing as, uh, Yager. So, actually, funny enough, there's no, uh, righties here, uh, in this release, which is interesting. But I like Connor, I do. And if you really need potentially a left-handed winger and you don't really feel Yager, I mean, Connor could be really, really good for you as well. I mean, I, I respect the attempt to try uh, Kyle Connor as well. I would definitely activate Unsolvable Force and make it snappy um, and probably lead edges too. I really would. So Kyle Connor for me is number three. Now, number two and one, those were, t they were tough. Those were really tough. Both these cars, number one and two, are fantastic. Absolutely nothing against you know, Yager or Leash, none of them, both of them are really, really good. Brian Leash, fantastic. I, it's just unfortunate that he just got an MSP a month ago. I still don't understand the reasoning behind that, but 6-1-190, he's got two-way defenseman, defensive defenseman, and offensive defenseman. You definitely want to activate a uh, two-way defenseman to get his defensive awareness up to 99, uh, giving him really good defensive awareness there. Uh, I would activate speed boost here, giving him 99 speed. That is fantastic. He also has agile dangling boost, accelerator boost, and shooting boost. So whatever one you want, you could go with the acceleration of 99 or the speed. It all just depends on what you want to go with. But for me, I would prioritize the speed. I like speed more. Uh, Silver Elite Edges, he's got wheels, tape the tape, Shutdown and Gold Heat Seeker. What I would definitely activate on Leech here would certainly be Shutdown and I would say Elite Edges. I don't love Wheels that much anymore, especially with 99 speed. I don't really think Wheels is that necessary. I'm not a big fan. I don't know. Gold Wheels to me is kind of useless. Silver, maybe sure you could justify it, I guess, but 
I I just think you could probably do without wheels on this Leech card. I do. I, I really do. So, uh, Brian Leech, though. Heatseeker's not bad either, though. I, I would consider using Heatseeker. Try it out. Try it out a little bit. I mean, it's 6 AP. It's a decent amount. Uh, but now we have 98 AP, I'm pretty sure. The limit's very high. So, maybe, maybe try it out. Uh, but for me, Brian Leech is number two. Nothing against this card. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But for, for me, Brian Leach is number two. It's funny because I didn't realize it as well. This is Yager's second MSP card as well. He also got a MSP card for Gallery of Greats. I mean, it's so long ago. That's 87 overall. So I don't really mind that as much as the Leech because the Leech is literally, what, 94 overall. But anyway, Yarmir Yager is number one. I think he's by far the best one here. Uh, well, maybe not by far, I shouldn't say that. He's be by, by far the best uh, forward option. I think he's better than Connor by a decent amount. But 6 3 2 54 left handed winger here. His synergies of playmaking forward, power forward, and cyber forward. Don't need to activate cyber forward as well. Uh, he simply, those stats do nothing for him. Like, he's already got 99 in all those categories. Uh, then he's got speed boost. Agile or Dangler boost, Accelerator boost, and Checking boost. So definitely activate Speed boost. Give him a 98 speed. A 6'3", 254, 98 speed winger. That is absolutely cracked. He's one of the best wingers in the game now. Absolutely hands down, no question. Uh, his abilities are very good too. He's got Elite Edges, Puck on a String, Tape a Tape, Make it Snappy, and finally Gold Unstoppable Force. So for me, no question about it. Activate Goal Unstoppable Forest, and I would say make it snappy and Elite Edges. This card is an awesome card. Absolutely phenomenal card here. If you need a left-handed winger, Yager is an absolute must. Uh, I don't know how often they're going to release these Stanley Cup cards, if they're going to do it per round or per week. I don't know. These expire in packs, it says, on Friday. So either either we're getting a new event on Friday in terms of, like, we'll get MSPs for that week, and then we'll wait until the following week to get round two MSPs. I'm not really sure what the what the actual, like, plan is here. I mean, it's been a really weird year of content. But Yager, I know for sure, is the number one card for week one. If you need a left-handed winger, as I've sent, said a million times now, he is your guy. And to me, if you want to make one for sure this week, he just has to be your guy. I mean, his hands are 99 across the board. Uh, checking stats are, you know, pretty good. 99 strength is awesome too. For me, there's really no negatives on this card. This card is absolutely phenomenal. So what do you guys think of my rankings? Grubauer at four, Connor at three, Leech at two, and Yarmir Yager at number one. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please make sure you guys leave a like if you have not already, and subscribe if you're new here. I really, really, really appreciate it. And follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at three E's. And be sure to join my Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.